Yes. For this project, you'll need some book pages, a needle and thread, some jewelry accessories like jump rings or some chain or cord, um, something to bind the or hold the papers together while you're working with them. I used just some paper clips and you might need some pliers or scissors. All right, so let's get started. You're going to take your book pages. Let's see, I have four pages here together and I'm going to cut them down to about a one inch size. One, one inch tall. So that when we fold the book over like this, that'll be the perfect little size. And then we're going to go ahead and take our needle to punch three holes in the inside where you folded it in the middle. So you've got one hole in the middle and then one on each side going down what is going to be its spine. And then we can go ahead and paper clip these together so that they stay in that position with the holes while we work with them. Then you're going to take another piece of paper. I used this decorative scrapbook paper, which also worked a little better because it's a thicker hardness for the outside binding of the book. And we need it to be just a little bit bigger than our page and a little bit longer. We're going to go ahead and cut that to size. up to make sure our cutting was right. Perfect. All right, so we've got our book pages, we've got our book cover. We're going to set those inside of each other and then taking our needle and thread. You'll have a little bit of a long tail on your thread piece. First off, you're going to repunch those holes we made so that you have the hole in your book cover as well. And you want to be careful that you don't punch through and get yourself, which I only did five times in the examples. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so you've got your three holes. You're going to go from the inside of the book through the middle hole, and this time come all the way through catching your thread about one half length of the book, and that's so that we can tie the um, ends off in just a second. Okay. So we've got it through the middle, and then we're going on the outside through the bottom hole that we made, being careful to come through all of our pages in that hole that we made. So that we've got the one stitch there. Then we're going to go back inside of our middle hole all the way through, making sure that we keep hold of this end so that our stitches don't go all the way out. Then we're going to the other side, the top of the book, and through that hole and book pages and all the way through. And then we're going to go one more time through the middle all the way through. We're going to make a knot on the outside by making, just going inside that stitch that's on the outside there. Having that loop come out and then we're going to go inside of that loop. And that's going to be drawn tight against the book itself. As tight as you can get it without ripping those pages. And then We've got that knot done. We're going to go back inside your middle hole to match up with the end that is in the middle. And then we're just going to tie it off the regular knot. And it's secure. And then we can take our scissors. We don't want to cut it down too close, but you can get it 
kind of close, the, the strings aren't hanging out all over the place. Then we can take out our paper clips and refold our book. Ta-da! Now you can put more signatures in there if you want, which is the are the blocks of the papers that are the books. You could have just two in there if you wanted a thicker mini book, or you can have just the one. To finish this up, we're going to take our needle to make a hole just through the cover, right on the top of the pages, and that's where our jump ring is going to go. And I always have to have pliers for this part. You might be able to open them with just your fingers. Depends on the, the brand you get, too. You can get a whole bunch of these really cheap at the craft store. And then close that up. And it is ready to go on your chain, or you could make some earrings or a keychain. Uh, anything you'd really want to, to do this, you can put it on just about anything. It's so cute. And once you learn those steps, you can make all of uh, these and they'll be everywhere. You could even have little blank ones. You could write tiny little notes to yourself. It'd be so cute. My colleague Kat has a couple of earrings that she wears all the time and they are so adorable. So now you could come and match her.